Waterloo, or... I feel like, actually, we we should just keep going with the, with the, the way the story's going. I thought it... Yeah, or, well, I, th I thought it yesterday, and I think it again today. This place is so princely. It's a wild guess, but I have a feeling you'll think the same tomorrow, too. My tea has a finer fragrance than whatever you're there serving in the tea room here, here though, wouldn't she say? Oh, uh, look what we have here. This is an unexpected pleasure. Oh, father! Oh, is this your daddy, Susie? How lovely! What a charming young lady. And you all? Iris Wilson! Oh. Oh. What? What's the matter? Ah, uh, really? So you're the author of the Adventures of Herlock Sholmes, are you? Ah, oh, is this That's my easy? only. That's the only significant thing about my character. Yes. Susie's been a wonderful friend to me over the last year. You know. Well, Miss Wilson, I must say I read your work regularly with and with much interest. Iris actually lives with Mr. Sholmes, you know, Father. Oh, I know. Uh, I, I'm aware. Yeah, but is that so? Well, perhaps that goes some way to explaining that bright look in your eyes. What? <laughs> you would be smiling so airily if you just knew if you knew just how bright she is. Believe me. Now then, Miss Young Naruto, it was a pleasure seeing you in action earlier. As an invitee of the symposium, I was allowed to observe from the gallery, after I twisted some arms. Literally. Just fucking... <laughs> I must say, it was a truly exemplary performance. Much better than the last time I saw you in court. Uh, well, Jesus. Thanks for the backhanded compliment. Although I'm fairly sure you admitted by Kazuma on the end there. No, 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 please don't misunderstand. It was you who impressed me. Really? Also, stop reading my mind! You didn't Sorry, it's an arrogant technique. It's a... It's a Mikutoba a fairly secret. Uh, you, you didn't miss a step against Asogi, and we all know how capable he is. Really, to have matured into such a fine defense lawyer in less than a year is quite extraordinary. Still oh yeah, nothing, he's only been here for a year. Still nothing compared to that Kazuma, though. Mm. Most strapping and handsome and brilliant and talented young lawyer he is. Okay, seriously, I'm still standing right here. Really nice to hear. What I saw in court today confirmed what I'd been hoping for. The favor I mentioned yesterday to Mr. Naruto. I trust you haven't forgotten? Uh, no, I don't remember. But first, we have something to report, Father. Of course, of course. Shall we take tea while we discuss the matters further? No! I wonder where Judge Jikoku has got to. Look at this, Professor Migurtaba! Ah, Kazuma's armband. He was wearing that way. Wait, did we not have our own? Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't... We took Cosmos when he died. Is that why he's not a defense lawyer anymore? Because he, yeah, we, 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 stole, took his, we stole his arm bed. We stole his arm bed. <laughs> why? I could have sworn we only took the sword from him. I could have no, sworn the arm, the arm band too. was here from the beginning. Yeah, I think he gave it to us during our our trial when we were defending ourselves. Maybe. Are you intending to return it to him? Uh no. I mean, it has his name on it. Are you... I don't think it does. Now that we found out he's alive, it doesn't make sense for me to keep it. Well, if you ask me, I think Cosmo will be delighted to see you wearing it. And nothing else. Like a flag of victory planted on these, his uh, captured territory. What do you mean by that? No, seriously, what do you mean by that? 
What happens if I just uh, where where did Goku go? Where Goku go? Guilty. Ha 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 ha. Ah, you startled me. No, now that you mention it, I haven't seen him since this morning either. I suppose since the symposium's opening was postponed, he'll have gone to explore at the Great Exhibition. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that that's still going on in the background. How about Judge Yikuku having once been in the do dock himself? Ah oh, yes, it was all tied up with that accursed trial. Close trial of Cosmo's father. Seishiro was trying to mitigate Genshin's guilt, so he took to the stand to testify. But he got a little carried away and, um, actually managed to break the weakness stand. He did what now? He also said some contemptuous words about the British Empire, for which he was charged. Oh dear, although it's worryingly easy to imagine him doing that. Well, it was all right in the end. He was acquitted and we returned home to Japan together. Thank goodness. Ah yes, talking of Seishiro. I have a copy of the photograph we all took together here yesterday. Please. What a lovely picture. I look so nervous. Certainly seems to shout we've arrived in Britain. Wait, we weren't wearing those clothes though. He made us change. I'm just gonna put this in my evidence folder. What for? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they made us change. <sighs> Are you really wearing the England outfit? Come on, change before I we could before we waste the, the the film. Okay, well, I think that uh, now I think that Judge Duku Goku is a little more suspicious because we got this evidence now. That's a little worrying. Oh, yeah. Like, no, there's nothing. Because, like, Mikotopa's around, so I feel like if we need. Like, he said he was in the gallery, so if we need to, like, find him for anything, like, we could just talk about him. Mm -hmm. Whereas, Judge Jikoku isn't around, so if, if we need to present him as something, we'll, we'll need the picture for it. Um, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, me being very. Uh, too, way too. Uh, me having played way too many Ace Attorney games. Mm -hmm. None of us had any idea what was coming when we took that, did we? No, no, that's not so true. Hey, you mind reminding me about the favor? Well, this fateful trial that you're fighting, one way or another, it'll be over before long. I need you to take a dive. When it is, I'd like you to accompany me back to. When the trial's over, I'd like you to accompany to. Uh, I'd like you to accompany me back to Japan. You want me to do what now? F Father, what's the meaning of this? Now, Susato, you should understand. You've seen how our courts work firsthand. Japan's judicial system is in its infancy, especially when it comes to defense. Oh, you mean... The Supreme Court of Judici... Uh, ju... Judi... Wh whatever. Is in desperate need of a good defense lawyer. As soon as possible. Really quite urgently, in fact. I mean, this was kind of... I'm on trial. This was kind of... <laughs> yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's what it is. This was kind of always the plan, though, right? Like, we were gonna go to, go to Britain, learn their justice system, and bring what we learned back to Japan. I feel like that was kind of always the plan. Like maybe not spoken of, but mm -hmm. I have not even been in London in a year yet. I've read all of Susato's reports. I'm well aware of your extraordinary talents. Having seen you in action with my own eyes earlier today, there's no question. You, Naruto, are precisely the man our country needs. <laughs> so, you be leaving then, Reno? But then, what am I supposed to do, Father? Father? You came here to serve as Asogi's judicial assistant. Oh, yes, she's supposed to be Kazuma's assistant. I forgot. Our government is still in the process of deciding how best to deal with his situation, though. Dots. You've always chosen your own path, Susato. 
And I trust your judgment in this matter also. I'm choosing Uno. Any companion's boyfriend, Cosmo. But it, nobody will be here in England. That uh, sounds like it's not my problem. You will be here, father. No. I said I was taking Naruto back with me. Fuck! So if we move the scorpion across the river on the frog, then we don't have to get someone else on the other side. How many trips is this gonna take? Uh, please, the pair of you, don't look so downcast. It's merely a suggestion, you understand. A hope, if I'm honest. But I won't force you. All I ask you is that you consider it and come to a decision by this the time this trial concludes. Uh, I guess so. <sighs> you won't leave, will you, Bruno? I mean, if I leave, I'll never have to tell you that your father died. So, I mean, honestly, I see this as a win-win from my, from my perspective. My dad... What? <laughs> what? The thought hadn't even crossed my mind. Up until now, I've just been trying to do what I believe to be Cosmo's will. And then Cosmo showed up. But it turns out that he's still alive, so... And he had a different will. <laughs> like, he wants to find out what happened to Daddy. Where does that leave me? Oh, yeah, we're still... Father, do you know about the so-called Reaper of the Bailey? I've heard rumors. Some members of the judiciary explained it all to me yesterday. Of course, when I was a visiting student here in London, the Reaper was yet to emerge. Right, he didn't appear until after the, that case when the visiting students had already returned home. Well, Van Zeeks, who was in the dock today, that was Beric, the younger brother of Clint Van Zeeks, I believe. That's right. <laughs> London is the Reaper, as you've heard, but the truth is, it wasn't him behind all of those mysterious deaths. It was somebody else! Well, obviously. I see. So what you're saying is, there's been a professional killer at work here. I mean, <laughs> professional is not the word I, I necessarily used, but... Someone by the name of Asa Sheen, in fact. I beg your pardon? Did, did you just say Asa Sheen? That's a stupid name. You mean that Giselle Brett woman who was responsible for killing my great friend? John H. Wilson? What? My papa! Your friend was killed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. uh Miss, Miss, Professor Mikitoba, I think perhaps we shouldn't discuss this right now. Because the friend the professor is talking about is Dr. John H. Wilson. Wow, well, sure is convenient that I can read minds and <laughs> your friend can't. Not something we want to want Iris to find out about. Not like this, anyway. Oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just like they stare at each other after a while, and then he says out loud, "Of course." <laughs> What's going on? You doing their mind reading thing again? Sure would be nice if I was included in the conversation, you know? You dick. <laughs> you dick, kid. I, I just remembered something. Biscuits. Huh? That was rather out of the blue. T she's doing this deliberately. I think I'll go and see if I can purchase some. I wonder, would you like to come to Iris? I'm not really in the mood for bread. Oh wait, no, we're in England. I love biscuits. Those are the. <laughs> it was a joke. So that's a young girl. Is called Iris Wilson, isn't she? <laughs> kind of a common last name, isn't it? She's not the, really. She's the... <laughs> surprisingly not. <laughs> she's the author of all those adventure stories starring the great Detective Sholmes. But the name of the credited author isn't Iris, is it? It's Dr. John H. Wilson. Yes, I know. That's the name of her father, you see. Her daddy? That's not what I said. Dr. John H. Wilson, I was deeply indebted to the man for all the kindness he showed me during my time in London. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to shut up. That's why I was keen to reciprocate and invite him to the Imperial Yume University four years ago. But he was murdered last year by Giselle Brett. 
Why? Why would the hand of the Reaper stretch all the way to Japan? Iris knows nothing about that case, but it seems very likely that the victim, Dr. Wilson, was her father. What? A man with the exact same name? Down to the middle initial? That's crazy. Well, I can't say that we ever spoke about his family, so I don't know if he had a daughter or not. But I think I can say with some certainty that we, he was never the great... He was never the great detective's partner. So it could have been a do another Dr. John H. Wilson, you think? Well, John and Wilson are both common names, after all. Still, it's probably the best not to mention this to the young lady until we can be sure. That's what we thought, yes. We're back! What are you talking about? Ooh, they smell delicious, Iris. I think cinnamon will go very well with the tea they serve here, don't you, Susie? I'm over here now. Yes, I'm sure you're right, Iris. Well, you've exhausted all of my dialogue. Get out of my face. I need the telegram, Governor. I need to telegram government ministers and the Japanese police with this information about Asa's Sheen. Of course, Father. Thank you. I look forward to next month's installment, Miss Wilson. Oh, good. And please do come to Baker Street sometime, won't you? I'll shoot you! I don't think that's an incentive for me to come, but I would still be delighted. Best of luck for tomorrow, Naruto. And... Give my suggestion your full consideration, won't you? Yes, I will. Going back home. You know, Kazuma-sama has always meant a great deal to my father. I'm sure he'd love the chance to meet with him and talk to him about all this. Yes, no doubt. And it will also give me an ex give give us an excuse to get him out of our hair so we can investigate more. Get a, an advantage. Oh, of course, it's so obvious. How could I have neglected to possi consider the possibility of me before now? Ah, Mr. Sholmes! Holly, where have you been? Why, I joined you all for tea, of course. What an extraordinary question. I've been here the entire time, moving so slow it was almost imperceptible. When I'm- when I stand extraordinarily still, you see, I turn invisible. He just- he just- picks up one of the biscuits and just slowly starts raising it to his mouth. See? Invisible. <laughs> Little, uh, burnt, this one. With nuts. And Shit, I'm allergic. Peanut butter. Apparently you're allergic to peanut butter. I'm also invisible, so you can't see me. <coughs> <coughs> Luckily, the al allergy was not able to reach me because I am invisible. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no matter, no matter. Anyway, to more pressing concerns, Mr. Naruto. The... Yeah? I must dispatch a telegram to your country at once. It is a matter of much urgency. Well, uh-huh. Yeah, we know. To Japan, you mean. Tell me, to whom can I entrust the task? Quickly now, who? Are you just asking me because I'm Japanese? Uh, well... My father has just now left to send a telegram to the Imperial Police Bureau of Japan himself. 
I see. Well, he looked reliable enough for a bearded fellow. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you don't trust beards. I don't think what Father Sports could be considered a beard, Mr. Schultz. There's not a moment to lose. Kindly ask your trusty unshaven father to see this is set. God damn it. <laughs> I, I will, but what is it? Don't look at it! Private! He just slaps her. <laughs> no questions at this time, Susato. And by slap, I mean like a little, little fucking, uh, like a weak ass. He slapped her hand? <laughs> yeah, like slapping your hand away. All we can do is pray that for once my deduction is awry. Doesn't that imply your deductions are normally correct, Mr. Sholmes? Which isn't exactly- Now then! Interrupting your rude, rude ass comment! You may be surprised to learn that I am a very busy man that is mostly correct 100% of the time. I certainly have no time to hide behind settees and eavesdrop on other people's conversations. So that's what joining us for tea meant. I leave the sending of this in your hands then, my dear fellows. He just fucking- Oh! He smoke bombed away! Uh. So that's where my smoke bomb went. He just sort of set, set, ran off, didn't he? At quite a pace. And left the unpaid bill for his tea behind, too! Ah! I must catch up with Father at the telegraph office at once! And I'll run and call us a cab, straight away! Well, guess I'm alone for once. Oh god. I'm alone. With my thoughts. Oh no. <laughs> There was me thinking everyone would be clamoring to pay Mr. Sholmes' bill. 